I had a uh, question for Mr. Bridges. Um, it's not commonplace for such a, a big gap between films in a, in a franchise. What was your reaction when this first came across to you that there was going to be a sequel? Well, I had heard uh, you know, rumors that there was going to be a sequel in Toronto for many years, maybe 20 years. And uh, I kind of gave up on it. And then, uh, and then all of a sudden, uh, this script showed up and uh, Disney had, uh, had kind of had it on its back burners and, and they were not satisfied with the script of the, uh, and so they had been waited. And I'm so happy they did because uh, we got a good script and, uh, and also they, they uh, held out to find the right guy to be at the helm. And with Joe, I think they really found a terrific, uh, terrific leader because as he was saying, his, his, uh, you know, coming from architect, it's always interesting where a director comes from, whether he's a writer or an actor, you know, and they have an architect be at the helm of this one, it was terrific. And uh, he, uh, he had, uh, you know, uh, he was really up to date with all of the modern techniques that we had in special effects and everything, so he was a, a great leader. And uh, I love working with him, he's terrific with actors, so, uh, you know, when we got all that all that package together and they presented it to me, I said, oh, this, this sounds like something I would love to do. And it also, you know, just like the first one, it tickled the kid in it, you know, to be sucked inside a computer, you know, and, 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 and play with all the new toys that we have available to us, and, you know, and the kind of cutting edge, be involved with something so cutting edge, I'm very excited about it. You know, I mean, the first Tron King was in words like virtual world and internet were almost unknown to the general public. Yeah. And now we almost live more in the inter in the virtual world than in the real world with Facebook and social networking. So how are you planning on impressing the public that has probably seen it all when it comes to internet? together. 
supposedly. And now there's a sense that technology may have a dark side where it keeps us from connecting with each other. And I think this film examines that problem. All right, uh, first, uh, congratulations to you for your Oscar. Thank you. <laughs> um, let's see, do you have any details on when the original Tron will be released on Blu-ray and what's on it? And do you have anything special planned for the Tron Legacy DVD and Blu-ray? Sorry, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Where are you? I'm having a hard time hearing your question. Sorry. One more time. Do you do you know to anyone? Do you have any details on when the original Tron is going to be released on Blu-ray and what's on it? And do you have anything special planned for the DVD and Blu-ray of Tron Legacy? Yeah, I, I think that um, the original movie. We're certainly looking at doing something special uh, with the original movie. No, no date has yet been determined. Uh, and certainly for uh, Tron Legacy, um, as far as the DVD and the Blu-ray go, I think we will, uh, there'll be some, some very cool materials on it. And I also think with, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be taking a hard look at, at 3D on that front as well, as we get greater penetration of 3D TVs into the home. So uh, certainly we'll, we'll try to be as um, kind of forward uh, leaning as we can uh, when it comes to both of those. And certainly we, I think you can expect um, Steven's original film in an exciting format sometimes. I believe the musical is coming out before that. Yeah. Trump, Trump on Ice is also <laughs> It's going to be called the Trump's <laughs> <laughs> There was a Trump on Ice. I know. It was been on Ice for 25 years. <laughs> Grew out of that. 